at the Rockin' and Rollin' Palladium in New York City. The crowd is raring to go, and that swinging lady, Sheena Easton, is ready with the song. So is that bright young light of rhythm and blues, Freddie Jackson. And at Times Square, the crowd's making ready to make merry, and so is Jim Varney. Yo. Yeah, it's me, your old buddy Ernest, here at Times Square. Are you ready? I'm ready. The Grammys, the Kentucky Derby, the World Series, and tonight, New Year's Eve, Times Square. Waiting for us there, the man who made Hayburn famous, the man you know as Ernest Key Worrell, the star of Hayburn, it's Ernest, on CBS, Jim Varney. Hey, Jim! Yo, Jim! Hey, hey Vern, you ought to see this place, Vern, Times Square. I'm telling you, there's nothing like it back home in Kentucky, and I'm here for CBS, and I've got one million of my best friends crowding in here to celebrate with me. New Year's Eve, Vern. We're getting set to have a time. I'm so excited, Vern. I dress formal. Check it out. My black silk baseball hat. Have you ever seen old Ernest looking so good? I've got to, Vern. This is Times Square, Manhattan, New York City, home of the 45-second minute right in the old U.S. of A. You ever heard of Central Park, Vern? Less than a mile away. Up north, and Wall Street is it ever tall. I mean tall, but burn this tower here where the ball's gonna drop, it would take three of these, burn to make one entire state building. Know what I mean? Hey, burn you got to get down here. You still got 21 minutes and 14 seconds till midnight. This is where it's at. Know what I mean? It's 14 minutes, one second to midnight, and the people, the noise, the excitement, Vern, I haven't had so much fun, the hogs ate my little brother. And since you lost, Vern, all you've got to do is go up to a policeman and tell him you're a friend of Ernest. And you can't miss them, Vern, there are 2,300 of them here, men and women, and there's no wonder they call them New York's finest, know what I mean? We got a million folks here now, waiting to say hello to 1989. And you can make it one million and one. And the lights burn. You've never seen so many. 250,000 of them. No wonder they call it the Great White Way. Right here, Vern, is where Broadway is. Where all those Broadway theaters are. Where all those great shows are, like the Phantom of the Opera. <laughs> La Miserable. Chorus line. Nothing, girl. Nothing. Saving my loving for you, Vern. A lot of theater folks will be sticking around to join us afterwards to join in on the hooping and the hollering. You see, Vern, New Year's Eve in Times Square is an old tradition. It first started back in 1908 when they dropped that ball for the first time. It's a tradition, Vern, and I wouldn't be anywhere else for anything. Know what I mean? It's only seven minutes and 15 seconds to midnight, and things are reaching what you might call your fever pitch here in Times Square. These folks are getting ready to say hello, 1989. There's somebody you got to meet, Vern. He just got here. Our man about town, hey, Mark Vern, I'm telling you, Jim, what a night, what a crowd. There are more people here than went to see six Michael Jackson concerts in Tokyo. Over a quarter of a million people, they all have one glove on. There's a lot of cold hands out here. But what they're doing, they're paying attention to that big ball way up there. And it's a good ball and an easy ball to pay attention to. It's over six feet in diameter, weighs about 200 pounds, and it has 180 lights on it. Here's something you might not have known. Inside the light, the rare grass, gas, Krypton. That's the planet that Superman came from. He's not out here tonight. Maybe he put this up on. Back to you, Jim. Superman. Wouldn't that be something if he were here, Vern? Hey, if you spot him, Vern, get two autographs. One for me and one for you. But we don't have much time. It's only six minutes and 20 seconds to midnight, Vern.
to be in a year. We elected a new president, George Bush, and Gorbachev and the U.S. were getting chummy here all the time. Know what I mean? Hey, Mark, what did you think of 1988? You know, I always look back on 1980. The year we got back into space, discovery went up. Whoa, I'm losing my hand here. It's crazy, crazy down there. Also remember, because of the whales we had underneath the ice up in Alaska, we got them out. I'm sweating out here in the cold. That shows you how happy I am for 1988. Also, this was the year that Australia became 200 years old. And Irving Berlin became 100 years old. Think about it. A man half as old as a country. Is this a great world or what? Back to Jim. Okay. It was a very good year. And we've only got one minute and five seconds left. So if you're getting ready to kick up a bus, Burn, now's the time. Only 59 seconds to go, Burn. Just listen to this crowd.
uh, from our party to yours. The night's not getting older, it's getting better. Coming up from the Waldorf Astoria, our star Gladys Knight singing her all-time favorite hit, Midnight Train to Georgia. Right from Broadway, the entire cast of Eat Misbehavin' and one of America's great voices, Maureen McGovern. From New York's mecca of rock and roll, the Palladium, more of Sheena Easton. And in just a moment, Freddie Jackson singing his current number one hit, Hey Lover. Hey, Vern, it's your old buddy Ernest B. Worrell, Jim Barney, wishing you and all America Happy New Year. Know what I mean? I'll see you back at the Waldorf, Vern. Heart and soul are two of my favorite